Hey guys, Super Dog with Final Wars here, and today I'm back for another video. Today I'm going to be updating you guys on my little movie, on my little phase of my movies, so that I'm working on, my own little fan movies that I'm working on. So yeah, I am back, and I know it's been a while since I'm going to update you guys on the little movie, on these little fan movies that I work, that I'm working on. I know I have my reasons. The main reasons are basically, well, my main reasons are not updating you guys constantly because I changed some of them, because I have changed the plans, or the fact that I don't have the figures I need to start the movie. So, I have been thinking about this a lot, and it mainly has something to do with Max, aka a, basically my first son and the heir to my throne as the king of the Mega Monsters and king of all Godzillas. I have been thinking about a lot about his origin story, and I feel like that I should do a movie that basically explains his origins. Mainly, I wanted to wait. I kind of wanted to do a series of his origins. But, frankly, you guys don't really know his origins that well. So, yeah, I figured, why not do a movie that basically explains his origins. But, I'm changing his family numbers. Basically, for those who don't know, or, well, for those who don't know of Max's origins, he's basically... He's my son, along with Allison's son, who is a werewolf hunter. But now I'm, well, not really the me, but the OC version. You, you get the point. But today I am going to be changing that from now on. Basically, Max is no longer going to be a werewolf hunter, I mean, he still will hunt werewolves, but, yeah. So, I know what you're going to be wondering, why am I doing this, mainly because I thought about it and I realized it was really uninteresting. Just for one, I know I did a little bit of history about me and the OC version of me and Allison's relationship, and... True Love Never Dies, my audio, my own little audiobook that I did that features me and Orr, or the OC version of me and Orr. So today, I am going to change that. Now, I know you're going to be wondering who is Max's mother is going to be this time, or who is his new biological mother is going to be. Well, I have a new favorite character in Attack on Titan, and her, she doesn't have that much screen time at all in the whole series. She mainly appears in flashbacks, just like how Or appears in flashbacks as well. And her name is Frida Wright. Yes, you heard me. His story is his sister. That's right. Max is going to be Historius's nephew. Now, I'm wondering why am I having the OC version of me and Frida to be a thing is because, well, here's a little interesting story. I actually am, well, for starters, I actually thought about it and I actually thought, why not have 
have a number of the royal family to have a child with someone else. Basically someone that they basically keep to themselves. Basically like a secret love. Basically and I and Rita and of course, yeah. So basically this will basically explain Max's origin story. Part of it will explain on how I met Frida, how we met fell in love and got married and yes, we did get married. I know that the original story of Max's origin story was that me and his original mother, his original biological mother, never really got married. But this time, I'm changing that again. <sighs> I am sorry. I'm sorry if I'm talking too fast. I, I can't help it. But, um, yeah. So this time, me and Max's new biological mother will be married, and, yeah. Like, Or will still have the title as the first woman that I fell in love with, but Frida will hold the title as the first woman that I actually married and had a child with. So you could say that in a way, Frida has the, like, you guys know that Orr has the title as the first one that I fell in love with, the OC version of me fell in love with. You might think me. I need to come up with a name for the OC version of me. I really do, so that way people can tell me the two of us apart, but then again, not really. I, I don't know. I, you know what, I, I'm just going to keep it how the way it is. The OC version of me, so you know, so Orr will have the first title, will still have the title as the first girl that the OC version of me fell in love with. And Toka will still have the title as the second first woman that that the OC version of me fell in love with. Frida will hold the title as the third one. So yeah, within a way, you could say within a way that there are two Attack on Titan characters that I'm just going to fall in love with. Now, I'm wondering, how did I got this idea? How to have Frida be the, the third, third, first love interest of the OC version of me? All simple, really. Here's South 3 actually proposed this idea. He actually proposed the idea several months ago, but I just never mentioned it. You now, because for one, I didn't thought about it back then, and plus, I didn't really know what to do exactly with Frida. In my little AU, but the more I thought about it, I was, and the more I watched back on Titan, I realized that Frida really, Frida shares a lot in common with Orr. They don't really have, like, both Orr and Frida, they really don't have that much screen time in their own series, and they only appear in flashbacks. And as time went on, I actually realized that I actually started to like Frida as a character. Therefore, she's my new favorite character that I actually do like. Therefore, it's kind of understandable in a way that Frida and Orr will have something in common. That, that they basically do have something in common. They both appear in flashbacks in their own series. Not only that, uh, but they don't have that much of a role to play in their own respective series. Therefore, the, their only main purpose and role in the ser in their own series is just to be a part of a flashback. Like, 
I'm pretty sure Aura had way more appearances in Fairy Tail than what Frida had in Attack on Titan. After that, Frida was just kind of mentioned a few times, but then just forgotten, like some, like she was just meant to be forgotten, and then she was finally mentioned again, but then again forgotten. So, yeah. And by the way, if you're wondering what is going to be in the name of my little movie, of my little phase of movies, I think I'm just going to call it the Mega Gorgira Kingverse, I think. I don't know. Oh. If you guys could come up with a better name for my little, my, my little movie series, please, I would like to hear what you guys think about it. I mean, not think about it. Please, I would like to hear what you have, what kind of name you guys come up with, or whatever. So, yeah. And one more thing, I know a lot of you guys are probably confused about why are these films so different? Why are they, why are they so different? Right, like, seriously, like, there's one movie that's not connected to the first one, then the second one's not connected to the third one, and then blah, 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 blah. Every single move is not really connected. Well, within a way, neither were the Showa era Godzilla movies. Like the Showa era Godzilla movies, they literally were not connected to any other. Well, so, apart from the second movie, which was Godzilla Rays again, but that movie was connected to the first movie. So I just kind of figured why not have my own little fan made movie phase to be sort of. I get a little reference where all the show I Eric got, where all these movies that I do are not really connected to each other, but the sequels are connected. So anyways, I hope you guys liked this video. Like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye-bye.